Look what I can do. I can I'm Shannon, and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Whoa. And I'm trying to put our lives back together. I've kind of always had issues with hoarding on the inside of my house. We have furniture, we have our clothes, we have toys, our, our personal collections. And we have demons. I think this area is cursed. There's something here. The belief that it's cursed didn't come overnight and it took me a long time to believe it, but I just saw thing after thing after thing after thing go wrong that shouldn't have. I believe the devil is after me. There's no way so many different types of demons and so many dark things could come. We've been living in a domestic violence shelter for two months. It's not safe here. When I told my kids that we were going to a shelter, it was one of the saddest days of my life. So when I had the traumatic brain injury, uh -huh. it had been over 90 days since I talked to a person. Okay. Nobody stopped by. Okay. And I started talking to a friend. That's a cat skull. Wow. And, and friend is its name? Yes. So you know that that sounds a little psychotic. A little bit. OK. Um, but I, I'm also getting that you were lonely and this was a survival mechanism for you. We are pretty much burning on fumes with housing for you at the shelter. Correct. We need to get you and your children back. Hello there. Welcome home. Wow. When they opened the door, they were very surprised just to see the smiles on their faces. What do you think? I love it. It's clutter free. We were able to get rid of almost everything that we didn't need here. But there's one thing you still want to get rid of. Right. Which is? The demons. My name's Art also known as Sorcerer Tao. I'm the founding member of the Sorcerer's Guild. The first thing I'm gonna do is play this flute, kind of agitate things a little bit, try and get it moving a little bit so I can see what's here. I was a little nervous about the exorcism. So now what I'm gonna be do what I need to do is go around the house and blow this smoke, start clearing it out. Apparently there was a lot of manifestations arriving from the clutter and this, this place's location. There used to be a, a, a burial ground near here. So this room was my son's room, and he believed that there was something sitting outside the window quite often. The window. They were, they were seeing a lot of entities, and there were a lot of animals coming and dying on the property. OK, and while we're in here, we'll check this trap that I set in here. Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. There was something that was very popular. Made it mad and it started moving around. Well, never had that happen before. <laughs> okay. This is one of the another type of ghost trap. The idea with this one is supposed to come in and not be able to get out. Something got out? Yeah. That wasn't like that when I, when I, when I brought this gourd here. That something burnt a hole through the gourd. I've never seen that before. But yeah, something very powerful here. We've caught it, and it's gone. So we've done a good job getting this house in order, and you believe the demons are gone? I do. OK. All right. Right 
right now I have about 15 dogs and nine cats. I can't open it. I'm horrified. I'm gonna have to call somebody to pull you out of there. I don't think I'm a hoarder.